All right. Live on Facebook. I'm gonna. Uh, hey. <laughs> uh, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am also. I'm not sure what what the Bible verse exactly is, but that's that's from the Bible, from the New Testament, Jesus. You know. Uh, so I'm going to tell you that the the music class wants to get right into that, and uh, that's the magic of uh, of singing together and using our voices. Um, I have a voice, you have a voice. I sing, you sing, that's two separate voices. But when we sing together, and at certain resonant frequencies, it produces a third voice that is, that is not, not a, either of the two, it is a third waveform. And anyway, uh, so we'll start out with that, and. Uh, and, and so we'll, do, we'll just pray together to God, to God. Everybody, uh, everybody. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to have this class. I made an outline in the first lesson. I want to practice it a little bit. Uh, Get out of here, okay, come on, not right now. That's just hungry. All right, I'm supposed to be cleaning the house and feeding the cats and water them and everything else. And I'm way behind. All right, uh, so anyway, that's how we start the class here, and it's going to be about them. Um, I've got it titled The Guitar and Piano Vocalist and Simple Songwriting Class. Um, and the first lesson is on voices and resonance. And uh, so uh, it'd really be nice to be able to show you the keyboard. I'm thinking that's something I need to work out as to where everybody can see me so they can gather up around the piano and actually try, you know, doing this stuff. Um, there's terms in music like harmony and, uh, and harmonics and uh, keys. And when we get into those, those are very important. And, uh, um, there are notes. This we've got to go right to the beginning of it. There are notes, and uh, for instance, this is an A note, an A three, and an A four. Now, there's you know those are two just separate. kind of span with the, anyway the, that's why the piano's size the way it is is so that your, your hands and now everything happens on a chord between those two now that's two a now before we get too far along um, that's what harmony and harmonics are about uh, and resonance um, what happens between these two notes in the series of eight whole notes is that this frequency is 440 um, hertz. It, it uh, vibrates at a rate of 440 times back and forth in within a second, which is a time period. So this is, it has to do with time as well. When you read a musical, it's, a, it's, it's time passing. Anyway, and there's a science to all this. Uh, see, that's the interesting thing is uh, harmonics is an electrical term too. And it has to do with frequencies that are used you know, when, when electricity passes through a conductor. It produces, uh, it, it, um, in AC current, it goes back and forth. It polarizes. And our, our 110 circuits go at 60 times, 60 hertz, actually at 120 volt, but the, I think. Anyway, uh, if they go at 60 hertz, that means that the circuit polarizes 60 times each second. You get me? 
Now then, the interesting thing about that is that uh, it, that's only electricity. And, and the, the graph that you see with the waveforms on it, the oscilloscope, the looking electronic circuits going back and forth, and that representation is the circuit going this way, one way, and then below the lineup is going the other way. And the, the frequency of the times it changes in, in a second of times, it hurts. It's a, and a, so anyway, that's the interesting thing about how science and art and uh, mathematics and, and everything is all tied together. And, uh, so the, the, this is divided, the keyboard and the notes, the music modes, whole notes are divided up in eight. Eight is a magic number, uh, the octave, okay? Now then, everything in your chord happens between those two. So here's an actual A major chord. And that's all happening inside the range. Now, oh, I, I wanted to get into the frequencies. This is a 440 hertz. And down here, this other eight octaves, or one octave down, 12 notes, is 220. 440, 220, 440, 220. Now both of them together. doubles is a, is an important thing. Each octave, the next eighth up, is a doubling, generally, of, uh, of the frequency, which is interesting because on the guitar, you have a string, and it has a wavelength, is the length of the string. And when you put your finger down and block that, you change the wavelength. And when you, when you cut the wavelength in half, you double the frequency of the times it vibrates back and forth and the sound wave that comes out of it or the electromagnetic wave. In regard to electronics, it's not just the electricity going through the conductor. When, when electricity travels through these things, it, it makes an electromagnetic field, which affects reality. And, uh, we, and everything now, we're doing it all officially. We're finding out we can control the weather, we can control people. We can, we can control insects, we can, this, um, this electromagnetic field is very critical. Our body has an electromagnetic field. That's, that's the magic. Is, uh, I got a kind of a joke about harmony, you know, is that uh, the, the roots of the word are uh, harm and money. Uh, it'll harm you money, trying to, trying to attain harmony. Because, <laughs> you know, you go around buying a bunch of guitars and keyboards and uh, microphones and amplifiers and speakers and anyway there's no harmony like the harmony from the voice that God gave us that's the important part of that little joke or being funny anyway uh so anyway let's practice this a note singing is, a, is the, the ultimate instrument using your body and it's very healthy it, uh, you, you, the first thing you need is, is air in the hierarchy of things to, for life to be here is, is I mean on the both side of the sea you know the air is air we got to have air you ain't gonna make it very far without air you get me you know uh, you can go little ways without water little ways without food and little ways without salt but uh, air it's over you get it and air is the breath of God it's a, you know that's that's the spirit of God it's a Take a deep breath and realize it's in with the good. And uh, out with the bad, I suppose. But, uh, that's how we live, is we breathe. And singing is learning how to breathe. And, and uh, it's very valuable knowledge. Uh, teach your children how to sing and how to breathe when they're singing. And it will make their standard of life so much better throughout their whole lives. Um, we've got to have air. That's the thing. So, you know, don't buy into all this stuff where they got to, you got to have medicine, or you got to have this, or you got to have that. <laughs> your body, your body, all your body needs is air first, water second, a little bit of food, and a pinch of salt. 
And that's it, your body, wrote, that's what it functions on. You get me? Anything that interrupts that stuff or messes with that stuff is going to make you sick. Anything that promotes that stuff is going to make you well. Learning how to breathe is very important. And keeping your lungs clear, and, uh, you, you'll be able to sing with a, a greater range, you know. Anyway, uh, I don't want to get too deep into that. I want to, at this point in the first lesson, I want to talk about, uh, uh, is everybody individually singing? You know, this is an A440. And I want everybody to mimic that sound as closely as they can with their own voice. This will be me doing it. so important to the spiritual part of singing too. Things like when you when you end that you if at, at certain points of certain songs, particularly in the end, if you stretch and, and blow that last breath all the way out, let it all out. And then, sincerity and the feeling in the song and, and, you, and you feel it. It's something you do naturally and after you know you do it then you can do it a little more less naturally. Anyway it's one of those things you know the more you do it the less magical it is. Anyway uh, that's that's that now and then there's a lower one you know. of the classes. Uh, um, I suppose that we've got to do something. Everybody's going to sing their part. Everybody and we're going to do these together. And we're going to look at a, 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 you can Google up and look at guitar strings. They put a camera, mount a, mount a GoPro or whatever inside the guitar and looking out the hole and seeing the strings. And it's fantastic to see what just a vibrating string, how visual it is on the things like frequency and wavelength. And, uh, and how the different frequencies look when they're actually there together. You know, you've got six strings and they're doing their thing, each one at their higher, lower and higher frequencies. And it's real illustrative of what is happening. Now, see, so it happens in sound waves, like all your different instruments, not just the stringed instruments, make sound waves, the same as vibrating strings do. But it's real visual, it's so visual and magical to see the strings actually show you that oscilloscope look at you know electronic circuits it's visible from a stretched piece of string and you're looking at it it's, it's incredible you know the cups at the end and you can talk and whatnot that's the vibrating and the synchron and the, and the information that we can be carried on these waves you know and, and little things like timber and, and reverb and, and things like that and how they can be electrically m mimicked and represented, and represented and mimicked in the circuits. And uh, anyway, uh, there's eight whole notes. We'll go ahead and keep going here. Um, and five half notes. Uh, three, and these are the sharps and flats is what they're called, which I, I'm a little, I'm going to have to do a little of my own study on what determines a sharp or a flat because they're kind of the same keys. Anyway, uh, it, uh, as far as I understand it, if it, it's, uh, you know, this is the A and one half step up is the A sharp. That's a half step up in the frequencies, which the doubling of the frequencies happens in the octave, and each individual note is an eighth 
of that sum amount of the frequencies. You could represent all this mathematically with a magnetic mathematical formula, and it would uh, it would be really cool to, to look at which determines what an octave is, you know, and what the no is in in the octave, and the half note, I mean the half step in the frequencies. Um, anyway, the, the important part of that is is that in an octave, when it the the cycle replicates or every time it doubles. Um, so uh, here you go. This is a B, uh, a A, A, and then when you drop that one down, that's a seventh. It's not an eighth. Here's the eighth. Here's the seventh whole note. Here's the sixth. The fifth. got to think of it as a, um, they have a beginning and an end, and it's divided up into eight marks, which makes that eight marks, the spaces between them is seven, and that's your seven whole notes. Do you kind of get me on that? Um, there's eight lines that define, that, that are keeping in the seven spaces between the lines, right? That's, okay, that's, that's just an interesting thing. So there, that's why there's seven notes and five half notes, and that makes 12 actual notes within an octave. 12 being a magical number in everything too. Everything, you know, there's, there's got this 12 thing because, because of the 60 thing and everything else that's in the, in the and the 110, 120, the 440, and, and everything else. Anyway, uh, when we sing, we produce these sound waves, and you've got to look at it as these sound waves are even more powerful because of the spiritual aspect of it and the, and the breath of God are more powerful than our wonderful electromagnetic waves that we're we're, you know, our, your remote for your TV is the same thing, and these microwaves, your cell phone, our cell phones, everything, all the magic of the technology we have today is built on these frequencies and things like microwaves and, uh, and lower frequency waves and the carrier waves. That's the interesting thing is when you have two waves, you can overlay them and they'll be in harmony or they'll be in sync. And, uh, and magical things will happen. And if you just go a little bit out of sync, you can do things like include frequencies that are so low and so high that we can't, our hearing and our senses aren't, aren't able to detect them in any, in any real way. But when they're overlaid like that, the little bit of difference between them makes it into a, puts it in a, in a range that we can hear it. And uh, we can feel it. it. That's things like uh, one of these talking in your head CIA weapons and all this weirdness, you know, that's, that's where they can have a carrier way between two signals where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am also. This, this third magical wave and fourths and fifths and sevenths and everything else, it's craziness. Anyway, this is part of the magic that we naturally have. We don't need the technology. It's given to us in our wonderful God-given bodies with our God-given lungs and our God-given voices. And uh, our body is like an instrument, an ideal instrument. It, uh, if you look at bagpipes, you squeeze them bagpipes and you squeeze your gut from the bottom of your heart and you create this pressure in your bags and your lungs. And your throat regulates and alters that into frequencies, sound frequencies that are traveling into God's creation and altering things and changing things. That's, that all gets into the why we do it and, uh, and for what reasons and whatnot. Anyway, there's a magic, magic to it and it involves it all, all of us tied together, all your art and science, everything in this creation <laughs> goes back to the creator. And we're forward to the creator. 
this is what I'm saying. We're all going to the same spot. We're just, you know, some of us is a little further along, I think. Anyway, uh, music is a magic way to, to fulfill our, our, uh, our, uh, our God-given purpose in our lives, which is kind of, you know, at least part of it is to, is to glorify God. That's for sure, you know. It's a, uh, the Creator. And to, 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 be, to, to be, you know, appealing and pleasing to the Creator as much as we can be and not be repulsive and, and, uh, and so much like whatever we are, you know. Anyway, uh, that's the, the definition of harmony is, is to be in accord or to be in harmony, uh, to be, uh, well, I, I looked up the definition here. I just I got notes here now. But I, I need my glasses. And, um, uh, um, yeah, there's sympathetic sound waves, and uh, when these are overlaid, anyway, uh, it means to be in agreement. Harmony means to be in agreement. In sync is another way of saying it. In accord or pleasing. Pleasing. Uh, uh, appealing, um, you know, and that's that's an interesting part about these in your octave here. Now listen to it here. That feels like something. Feel it. And this is a seventh. Feel that tension. Feel it. Now this is a sixth. Feel it. It's different than a seventh. Feels different. A fifth. you notice that how that goes it's uh it, you can it, uh we'll just go ahead and jump right into this how singing this is the third lesson we're already up to the well no we're not i haven't explained things like sharps and flats and majors and minors uh here's a major a and, and it all happens within that octave that between the third and the fourth a's on the keyboard that's them now i add the hole for the major a chord that's the major, and it has a half step. It includes the C sharp or D flat, depending on how you're looking at it, I reckon. Now an A minor is this, one, one half step down. Minor, feel it, major. So anyway, uh, that's kind of the difference between major and minor chords, and that's an A major and an A minor. Here's a D, which happens in the same octave kind of incidentally. D major, D minor. step up is an E, which there's a lot of times you'll use A's, D's, and E's together. It, 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 a lot of songs are made up of, of, you know, just basically a lot of songs are made up of three three notes a lot of times, with three chords. And uh, that's the magic, a lot of magic, and so that gets into, you know, the little differences between songs, it comes down to different stuff. Anyway, uh, singing is breathing in and out. Now, that's the interesting thing now is a uh, you, you make sound, you know, like you say, put your pressure on your bags and regulate it. Oh. 
See, I physically trained my throat to kind of know where where I need to be for that A, and I, and I and and I could actually hit it pretty close before I hit the key on the keyboard. And that's where you want to get. You want to physically train your throat. in the octave uh, that's how you do it anyway that's that kind of the deal now the, the singing is the breathing now that's how we breathe out singing ah but you make sounds when you breathe in too <laughs> anyway <laughs> it, you, it, um, ideally you learning how to sing properly you be able to work both ends of that and then you get me? Anyway, uh, maybe you could do re me fa. <laughs> it just gets weird. And anyway, that's the magic singing. It's part of the in and out of it. And uh, singing from the bottom of your heart, that pressure is really the source. You know, um, singing from the bottom of your heart, literally. And uh, now then singing, it's, it is literally using our, our, our body and our voice as a musical instrument and as a piece of science that actually produces sound waves that change the universe. <laughs> as the, the stuff that God hears, you know, angels hear, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, when we sing together, that's when the magic happens. And, and so, you know, we can be singing in, in the key of A and, and some of us singing the, the higher and the lower of that A, that octave. But that's not an A major. An A major includes a uh, E and a C sharp. Or... So anybody singing will be right in there for a nice major chord sound together and be in a chord, still be in a chord, or a minor song. You know? And that's where singing together the magic comes in. And uh, So you, we don't have to be the same note. As long as we're in the same chord and in accord and in harmony and in res in resonance, okay, uh, sympathetic, and uh, that's where it gets into that sympathy thing is a, is a killer is a great word. It's a uh, when we when we tune our instrument when we we tune our and turning our our uh, our voice into this instrument when we start using our voice with other voices and that magic happens. It's supposed to happen. That's part of the reason we're here. Is is to is is to do this. It's uh it's more to do that than to go and kill each other in wars and stuff. I'll just tell you that much, okay? But uh, you know that stuff's fun in video game and everything, but real life, it's uh that's not what we're here for. You know, that's not what our bodies are built for, and that's not what God created us to do. If you think about it, anyway. Uh, so anyway, when we tune our, our hearts together and sing from the bottom of our hearts, some magic happens, you know. And uh, especially when we reach that resonance, and, and I'm just going to say, it, God, God sings with us and uh, joins in, you know, through God's creation, which allows us to make this magic. It's called music, and. Uh, you know, musical theory is, is intense, and it, I don't know that there's, it, it, it's as much an art form as it is a form of, you know, absolute science. A lot of it is, it just comes out of your heart, you know, and so that's the truth of it. Uh, so anyway, we better do a song, I guess, huh? I want to illustrate some one-off songs. Um, Oh well, musically, is a math lesson in one-offs. It's a fifth and a fourth. And it produces a heartbeat kind of a sound. 
You got me? That's the that's the dying breath of the song. That's that's the that's the part that God hangs on to. Anyway, that's the magic of singing. See, and then that song just happens to mean a lot to me because I wrote it. <laughs> so anyway. Is that the lesson for today? I guess that's the lesson for today. We'll see how long that is, and uh, then we'll just uh, check it out and take a look at it. It looks like it might be about a half an hour. I'm not sure. Anyway, okay. God bless us all. Oh, we'll part with prayer. Oh, God, please be with us. Help us through the day. Oh, God, help us. Help us get all the work done. <laughs> I gotta get work. Okay.
See you later.